Hi, hi everybody, happy Saturday. Um, I have like super shaky hands right now because I don't normally hold my phone, um, but I'm gonna put you guys over in my tripod in a second. Hi, um, surprise, Periscope on Saturday. Oh. <laughs> so my whole family's home, I'm downstairs in my basement. Um, they don't know I'm doing a Periscope, so hopefully we don't get like a huge interruption of, um, my children running down the stairs or anything. Um, hi, hi everybody. I'm happy to see you guys hopping in. By the way, I, I wanted to ask, tell you guys, for some reason Periscope hasn't been uh, recording the chat, so when I post these to YouTube, you can't see the chat. I'm not sure why. Um, I don't think it's anything I need to press, a button or anything, but it looks like I'm talking to myself, so it's really weird. Um, anyways, I just wanna say hi, thanks for all the hearts. I'm happy to see you guys on a Saturday. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Trisha, and my blog is called Eat Your Beats. Uh, I'm a food photographer and food blogger, and um, my mission is to help other food bloggers and food enthusiasts uh, get the knowledge they need to capture amazing shots. Um, if you guys think anybody would totally dig this uh, Periscope, it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna put you on my tripod, and I'm not actually gonna take any pictures today because I've already done uh, my shoot, but I'm gonna let you guys see um, an aerial view of what it looks like when I'm styling So I think it's gonna be really cool So if you guys want to tweet this out or invite your friends invite your followers invite your mom <laughs> Whoever you think might want to see this that'd be really cool. Okay um, So let's get started. I'm just gonna switch my camera over here. Oh, sorry. You guys are totally seeing my face Okay, so you can see this is my board and this is Louie <laughs> Louie, Louie, Louie. Louie is a party cat. He is currently sitting on my board. I'm just gonna put you guys down in the clamp and tell Louie, you're gonna have to skedaddle, buddy. Um, this reminds me of, thank you so much for sharing, guys, thank you. This reminds me of my friend Steph from Stupid Easy Paleo. Her cat is like the star of the show at her house. Move, buddy, you gotta move, 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 move. Oh, Louie is our sweet party cat. Thank you, thanks for sharing the paper apron. I'm excited to see you guys here. Thanks for sharing Creative Spirit, thank you. Um, so, you know, basically I don't typically shoot um, in my basement, but I came down here because I actually have a wall, a white wall down here, and um, it looks really good for, you know, like um, back, back shots if I wanna do, um, you know, like a shot where I wanna see some walls. So anyways, I decided to come down here and I have my board set up and oh, for those of you guys who are wondering how I'm doing this, I'm actually doing this with a, um, with a tripod arm. So to give me some hearts if you guys know what a tripod arm is. Do you want me to show you? Do you want me to show you what my tripod arm looks like? Yeah? Okay, so this, this is my tripod arm right here. So it's an extension that goes on my tripod and you can see, I got a lot of toys in the basement, but you can see it just attaches to my tripod right like that and it lets you take aerial um, shots of whatever you wanna take pictures of. So it's very handy. Let me just pop you guys in my tripod holder. Okay, so basically, like I said, I did. I have already done my shoot, shoot for the day, so I'm not gonna take any pictures, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I like to do when I'm styling. Um, so the first thing is I've got this beautiful white background. This is actually a pastry slab from Sur La Table. Really beautiful um, marbling. And hi, Natural Nurture, I'm excited you're here. And um, again, I've got my uh, linens that I love, again, from Sur La Table. Um, these linens are so great for um, I love that marble, thank you. Yeah, these linens are super great for, like, just look at the texture um, of that guy, right? So they hold up well, they stay put if you wanna move them around. They've just got beautiful movement to them and they also catch some fantastic shadows. So I'm a fan, a big fan of these. So the first thing I do when I'm styling my shot is I'm just gonna twist my tripod just a pinch, but normally um, I kind of already know what is gonna be seen by my camera and what isn't. Uh, displaced Tia Tia, I think I said that right. The linens are from Sur La Table and they are actual uh, linen, linen fabric. Um, and actually I'm wearing um, a linen apron. I always wear an apron when I'm cooking and styling because I'm really messy and that is from the Portland Apron Company. So um, she's super awesome if you want gorgeous aprons. Um, this one's fantastic. I wear it like a dress <laughs> all the time. Um, so the first thing I do whenever I'm coming to like kind of approach how I'm gonna be shooting is I kind of just wanna set up my linen and, and make it look pretty and give it some movement to it, right? So you kind of just, yes, linen gives the best texture, I agree. 
Um, you just kind of want to move your linens around and see what you like best. And I had it really nice, but the thing about linen is it's very forgiving, right? So you don't want it too heavy on one side. And I really like to kind of pull these corners out so that we've got some shape to it. So anyways, I'm going to play with my linen a little bit. And then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to be shooting soup. Well, I already shot the soup, but basically, uh, that is what I had shot today. And I actually used to be really scared of doing soup. I felt very intimidated by it, but it's something that I'm actually pretty confident shooting now. Um, one of my biggest suggestions when shooting soup is bring your soup to your shot. Don't fill your soup bowls at your oven or stove and then try to walk them across the kitchen, especially if it's like a brothy soup, because then it's gonna slosh all up on the sides of the bowls. It's gonna look crazy. So I like to dish my soup straight at the source um, wherever I'm gonna do my shot. So um, another thing that I like to recommend is to keep your soup cold. Uh, the thing that's nice about cold soup is I'm actually gonna drizzle some oil on top of this and it's gonna be nice because the oil isn't going to sink straight into the soup. Um, so it's gonna sit nicely on top of it and then I'm gonna put some salt in there too. And so if the soup were hot, then this salt would just totally dissolve, right? So I've got a little mess here. You can clean that up. That's part of why I said I usually keep an apron on because I'm pretty messy. Um, you know, to clean up your soup messes, you can use things like Q-tips, you can use paper towels, I don't have anything in my basement, um, but I'm just gonna use just a regular napkin, um, another linen napkin I can easily wash. I actually have an entire <laughs> entire uh, mess of like soup bowls down there on the floor that already have soup in them from the shot that I did this morning. So I'm just gonna fill this soup up and you can see that it looks a little splotchy, but I'm actually going to um, use a knife and kind of smooth that out so it looks nice and uh, even. Are you guys really liking this aerial shot? Is this fun? Give me some hearts if you guys think that this is a good idea. I had this thought this morning and I was like, you know what, that is a clever idea. So fun, I'm glad. Hey Zimbelli, thank you for inviting people. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoop up some of my soup and you can see this is a really thick soup. Um, I'm gonna have this on the blog this week. It's a dairy-free, um, potato and leek. Randy Day Bites says, where do you like buying your props? Ceramics are gorgeous, but so expensive. I agree. I agree. And, and let me tell you, so these two ceramics are from um, Food 52. And I'll show you the ones that I used this morning. So this is empty of soup, right? This is what I shot my um, shot. Zen Belly, I'm using my tripod arm. Do you have a tripod arm? She just asked, how do I do the aerial shot? It's a tripod arm. Um, so so this is my other uh, bowl that I actually shot in this morning. And um, Randy Day Bites, I know you said ceramics are expensive. Yes, they are. Um, but I will tell you, these ceramics um, are not um, bargain ceramics by any means, but I would rather have like four amazing bowls than 27 bowls that cost $2 that I don't use. So um, I think that's just, you know, something to consider when you're when you're investing in your props that I talk about um, often is investing wisely, you know, making making choices that like these are neutral. Um, <laughs> Zen Belly says my tripod never comes out of the closet. Mine either, except for periscopes. That's the only time I use it. Um, so I'm going to take my soup off of the table. And as I mentioned before, I'm just going to kind of smooth this out and I've got a knife and I'm just going to kind of smooth that out so it's got a nicer texture to it. It doesn't look quite so gloppy, right? So this has got a nice pretty swirl. This looks like 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 it just fell in there, right? Not as cute. Um, so these are just going to be smoothed out really nicely. And you can kind of tap your soup down just like how you would like a thing of peanut butter, right? If you want it to look a little better. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drizzle some, um, I've got some avocado oil. I'm gonna drizzle some oil on top just to make it look pretty. You know what, I actually meant to get this um, thing, this syrup pourer because that's easier for me to manage, but I forgot it's upstairs. So anyways, I'm gonna do the best with a shaky hand and probably too much coffee. So forgive me if my if my avocado oil gets a little crazy. I'm just gonna drizzle some of this in here. Okay, we've got a nice little drizzle. 
Does that look good? It's hard to see, I think, in the camera, but when I was shooting, it came out really well. Give me some hearts if you love that drizzle, you guys. I should have had less coffee this morning. Okay, so that looks really pretty. So the next thing that I want to do is, um, I know I talk a lot about layers. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. <laughs> I know I talk a lot about layers, and that's something that I really like to work on because I'm building, um, I'm building the story of my shot, right? So you won't see this backboard that I have here. This backboard is from Erickson Woodworks. Um, this is just like a, a linen covered uh, backboard, but I really, I'm starting basically with like my marble slab. So this is going to be my first layer. My second layer is going to be, um, you know, my linens. I'm even just gonna turn that a little and we've got that nice little curve in it. You know, then I've got my bowls, then I've got my soup and I've got the oil, which is another layer. And then I'm gonna add some salt because um, especially when you're dealing with soup and things that are flat, it's nice to kind of give them some dimension and kind of build them up. So I've got some of this um, super great um, coarse sea salt. Yep, Rainy Day Bites, love Erickson Woodworks. I love them too. So I've got my salt dish, and another thing is I love to buy props that um, are functional props, right? So this is a salt dish. <laughs> Layering surfaces, the natural nurturer. Thank you, I love you. Um, so this is a salt dish that I got from um, a girl who used to be a local uh, potter here. Um, her name is uh, The Object Enthusiast. She's got amazing pottery. Um, and I fell in love with this salt cellar. It's got this gold rim on it. And so not only do I actually use this in my kitchen, but it's beautiful to add to my shots. So I've also got some coarse grain salt. I love this coarse salt because it shows up really well. And it's very handy for sprinkling. So I'm gonna go Yes, her pottery is divine. She is so talented. I'm gonna go and just give a little extra salt. And what I was doing earlier when I made my shot is I kind of like to just move around. You can see how I kind of have curved this here. Um, and you can even see how this bowl is not even all the way around. So the more you move your bowl, the different amount of light you're gonna let in. So I'm just gonna add some salt. And as I mentioned before, this soup is cold, so this salt isn't gonna dissolve straight away. Um, and you can even build some up too, if you wanna build. So, and then if I wanted, what I like to do, I don't know if you've noticed, but my shots are typically messy, right? So I typically have some extra salt laying around and I can use that salt cellar to be part of my shot um, if I like as well. So the next thing I wanna do is, I don't actually have any pepper. This is a little trick of mine. I don't use um, pepper like this in my cooking. I crack my pepper. So this is actually smoked sea salt. And I don't mind using it um, in my food photography because it actually tastes pretty good and it just adds a little bit of extra saltiness. So anyways, this is my secret. If you see what looks like to be pepper in my shots, it's not, it's smoked sea salt. This is also from Sir La Tab. Um, so I just use a little bit of smoked sea salt and I'm gonna kind of go in here and almost like if you were, sha you know, like uh, filling in a shadow of something, right? So doesn't that look pretty? We've got some extra um, texture, we've added some color, there's some dimension in there too in the bowl. Gonna add some in here, just a little too. And then if I want, I could probably just put some salt around. This salt you can't see quite as well because um, it's a much, much finer, uh, grind, but it does look like pepper. It's not, it's salt. <laughs> so that's one of my secrets. Okay, so you know, the next thing to consider is that if you wanted to add more things to this, um, thank you, Lauren, smart. <laughs> if you wanted to add more things to this, you could definitely do like a small dish of what appears to be uh, pepper. Like I said, I really like to add salt to my. Um, to my shots and when I do, I just try to put some movement in those as well so that it doesn't look placed, um, but it looks you know, like it's been used, right? Because that's what cooking is. Cooking is real life. So if you wanted, you could definitely add some, uh, some something, some salt in here if you wanted it to, to look like pepper and you wanted to look like you've got a couple of different, you know, options in there. That's another great thing to do. Um, I'm gonna kind of move this over here because I feel like it's starting to get a little bunched up on my frame over there that way. So if this were one shot at like this, you can see that the composition of my frame is gonna be heavier. Hi, the movement menu, hi. The composition of my frame is gonna be heavier on this side and I balanced it out by kind of putting the salt cellar over here, but it's also fun to kind of work with negative space as well. So if I wanted to take this away and maybe just focus on having something um, on this side of the frame, I could definitely do that. And so this is not something that you would see in my image. Um, the next thing that I would add, 
would be some spoons. And like I said, I've got a variety of spoons. Um, these are vintage. I've also got some great spoons um, from, these are also Sur La Table. These are like $2 a piece. So um, I like these two spoons because they match, but if you wanted to use like a soup spoon and a serving spoon, you definitely could. Do, can you guys hear my cat meowing? I think he got stuck down here in the basement with me. So you can see I've got like different size spoons. So if you want to add some interest, you could definitely use, you know, a couple of different spoon sizes. Um, it, these spoons I like because while they are reflective, you can't actually see me in the spoons. So you could definitely do something like that. I like these spoons as well from Sur La Table. They're not quite as, uh, have as deep a patina as these do, but you could definitely use them. And my little trick for when I was shooting earlier, I don't know, can you guys see me? Can you see my reflection in that spoon? Give me some hearts if you're, if you can see my reflection. So that's something I really, really do not like. I don't want to see my own face staring back at me when I take a picture. I'm very aware of that. So if I have something like this, that's a spoon that I really want to use, but I don't want to see my face, I just have to figure out a way to hide it in such a way that it's part of the picture. Silver Lily Moon says, do you distress your cutlery? I don't. Um, these I all bought as is from antique stores. They were, you know, like two or three bucks. These um, are real silver from Sir La Table, so they um, distress really easily. And a couple of cycles through the washing machine, um, that, that will give them a little bit of extra distress. Good question though. So if I want my spoons in the shot, can you see my reflection in that spoon? So I really don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this in a way where it's just gonna move these spoons so that eventually they will not be in my shot anymore. And even if that means that I have to get something over here that's gonna kind of bump up this side of my napkin. So then I still got the spoons, but they're not, I'm not seeing my reflection in them. So I've used these spoons in my last shot, you can actually see them. So anyways, this is how I would style um, any soup. So if you guys want, I'll give you about five minutes of answering questions if you have any questions about my process. Um, otherwise, I'm really excited that you guys hopped over and I will try to put this on YouTube for you. So just let me know, does anybody have questions? Anybody, anybody? Is anybody getting snow? We're supposed to get snow on Monday and Tuesday. No? Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me on a Saturday. Um, oh, paper apron. Do you study, ooh, do you study other food compositions? Um, where is my watch from? Um, my watch is from uh, Daniel Wellington. Um, do I study other, sure, yeah, of course. I mean, I think, kitty bomb, I think that, uh, let me turn this around so you guys can see. Um, yes, I do. I like to study other people's compositions. I like to study other people's use of light. Um, that's a big thing for me, looking at the lighting that people do. So um, anytime I get a chance to study somebody else's work, I definitely do. Um, but I also try to do things that make sense to me. Um, so, you know, whatever tricks and tips that you can come up with, um, even if it's just like a phrase you make up, if it's helping you, then, you know, that's how you're learning and you're making something your own. So anything else? If not, I will see you guys over on Instagram and thanks for joining me on this Saturday. I'll put this up on YouTube. Okay.